Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different compared to my usual videos. I'm going to be doing a sort of vlog. So I thought I'd film my day because I'm going to be tackling my wardrobe today and we're going to be decluttering it. I have decluttered my wardrobe a fair few times before, before I started YouTube, because I found those videos on YouTube about minimalism and stuff like that and it really inspired me to, you know, declutter my room and all my bits and everything like that. So I'm going to eat my breakfast and then I'm going to be decluttering my wardrobe for like the fourth time. <laughs> I think altogether I've got rid of about probably seven or eight big black bags full of clothes and just stuffed the charity shop so far. So my room looks drastically different from what it used to look like a couple of years, like about a year or so ago. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then I'll show you my wardrobe. And just a quick note for my breakfast today that I just showed you, I've got a cup of green tea with lemon. I've got a glass of water with a slice of lemon in it. Lemon water is really good for you in the morning. It really flushes you out and it's good for your digestive system. And then I've got my wheat bix for breakfast. So I'm just going to eat this and then I'll show you my wardrobe. Now, please excuse my hair. I've just come out of the shower and it's still a little bit damp. I don't really like to put heat on it much, so I'm just letting it air dry. So before we get into the actual decluttering part of my video, me showing you my wardrobe, I just want to quickly tell you why I'm doing this. Basically, I had a lot, a lot of clothes um, to the point where this whole wardrobe was full, the two drawers down the bottom was full, and this dress drawers that I've got next to me was full. It was just full of clothes. I didn't actually have anywhere to put anything else, and then I was starting to take up the little cupboards that are outside my bedroom as well, full of like jumpers and stuff. So I was just getting really overwhelmed and I just I just didn't wear half of the clothes and I just hated it. So I went on to YouTube and I was just like browsing, you know, just trying to find videos to watch and stuff. And I came across all these minimalism videos and they were all like talking about decluttering all your unwanted things and sending them to charity shops that other people use them and how it's so freeing and just to get rid of all the stuff you don't want and don't like and doesn't spark joy. And then I bought that book um, by Marie Kondo, The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Um, and I read part of it, I didn't read all of it because, you know, I just couldn't be bothered to read all of it. And to be honest, the basis of the book people were talking about on the YouTube videos anyway, so there wasn't really any point because I knew what the book was saying. So that's when I started decluttering and I started with the wardrobe and the shoes and I got rid of so much stuff it was unreal um all my family and my boyfriend were like what are you doing you're getting rid of everything you're gonna have nothing left and I was like that's the point I don't want anything <laughs> I don't want anything left so I decluttered basically my whole bedroom I did the wardrobe I did my chest of drawers I did my bookcase although it doesn't look like it because I've still got a lot of books but I did my bookcase and I just did everything and I'm actually really happy with the way it's turned out like my drawers aren't rammed full of stuff my bookcase isn't overflowing like I can just feel I feel like I can move around and not bump into things and stuff like that and I really like it but that was all at the beginning of the year when I was doing this around January and February time and then I got to the point where I was a bit stuck I felt like I didn't have anything left to, to glutter which is obviously is a really good thing, but this sounds really ridiculous, but my goal, my overall goal, is to have stuff that's only going to fit into two fairly good sized suitcases. I only want two suitcases full of stuff. And I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous, and I'm not by any means a traveller. I would love to travel, but I don't have any intentions of like going backpacking around the world and all that amazing stuff so I am quite a homebody I will be staying at home most of the time but my goal is to only have two suitcases worth of stuff maybe one suitcase full of clothes and the other suitcase like actual stuff like you know just general stuff um but when I say that to anybody they think I'm crazy <laughs> they're like why why do you only want to have two suitcases full of stuff that's ridiculous that's absolutely crazy and I just feel like the less stuff I have obviously the less time I have to clean great the less time I have to tidy up great and the less cluttered and clouded my mind is 
I feel so liberated when I get rid of stuff and send it to the charity shop. I also feel really good because I'm giving it to charity shops and it's doing them good as well. So I've got to the point now, I've had about half a year off the whole minimalism thing. I haven't really watched any videos, um, nothing like that. Um, but now all of a sudden recently, I just started slowly watching the videos again and I'm getting really inspired and I'm just looking around my room and just thinking I don't need that I don't like that I don't want that like why have I got it get rid of it so the other day I went through my chest of drawers that are just next to me just here and honestly I got rid of a black bag full of just rubbish they weren't even stuff that I could send to the charity shop because they were just broken stuff stuff that like isn't a part of the set anymore they're just just rubbish like it's ridiculous so that's all nice and cleared out it's not empty it's still got things in but it's nice and organized and everything has place and that's how i like it i don't mind having things as long as they all have a place and get put away at the end of the day to their proper place it's when i have so much stuff i'm just ramming it into drawers just to get it out of my sight people say out of sight out of mind but in my mind i know it's in there and it stresses me out so yeah i got rid of a whole black bag full of stuff last weekend and it felt amazing so now I'm going to be tackling my wardrobe and I have a black bag ready for the donations I'm going to be doing so I'll just show you my wardrobe really quick and then we'll get into taking everything out I'm going to do it the kind of KonMari way where you take everything out I'm going to sort it all into piles so I'm gonna have a t-shirt pile jumper pile bottoms pajamas stuff like that and then I will show you it all on my bed in the piles so I can really see how much clothes I've accumulated it's ridiculous honestly it's ridiculous so this is my wardrobe <laughs> I have a lot of stuff this is a bit of a better angle it is safe to say absolutely rammed when I did this the first time all the shoes were all neat and tidy and the clothes only came to about here but now I've accumulated so starting from the bottom all these are my nice shoes and these are all sort of um like tank tops and spanks they're pants bras socks I have a lot of socks <laughs> all these are pajamas and up the top are my trousers and leggings these are my work clothes I can't get rid of those I've kind of color coordinated everything so I have black black stripes greys whites white stripes going into blue stripes blue pink a dash of red, a dash of green. My aesthetic for my clothing is mostly black, grey, white and blue. I never wear pink, barely wear red and I almost never wear green or, or yellow. I can't seem to get rid of this dress, I love it so much though. <laughs> and then push that all to the side, you can just about see there's a little tiny chest of drawers in there. I don't even know what's in here to be honest with you. Oh that's just random stuff. There's some scarves, my Harry Potter scarves, a jumper and dresses that I never wear because I never wear dresses. And then under here I have some weights, a little dress I wear when I'm going to the beach and some Ted Baker shoes I've never worn. And then these are all my shoes. I keep my laptop bag in here because I've got nowhere else to put it. And they're like flip flops, Birkin, like fake Birkenstocks that's gone slightly mouldy. I have real Birkenstocks and yeah so that's the main part of my wardrobe. This drawer I have jumpers. I think the only jumper I actually wear in this drawer is probably this one, this one and this one and maybe sometimes this one but all the rest I don't really reach for. And then this drawer are just scarves, hats and gloves. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, that's my wardrobe. Um, I do have extra jumpers in a little cupboard outside, but first let's get all of this out and put it on my bed. I'm dreading this bit.
you know when you do something and it's a good idea at the time but then once you've got it all out it's a bit overwhelming and you're thinking to yourself why did I start this? It's exactly how I'm feeling right now. So I've emptied my wardrobe. These are my work tops so they're staying obviously and my two Harry Potter scarves they're obviously staying as well. I've kept all my shoes in there because I feel like that's, that's got to be another whole day doing shoes <laughs> and I've kept all my pyjamas, socks, bras and knickers in the wardrobe as well because I feel like that's a bit inappropriate to be putting on YouTube to be going through my knickers so <laughs> I've got everything else out and I've, these are my dresses I've only got four so I just thought I'll just hang them up still so it's gonna get increased and horrible I have these nice these really nice velvety coat hangers that I bought a while ago when I did go completely minimal I think I've got about 30 of them I think um, and all my clothes fit on these coat hangers perfectly but because obviously I've accumulated things and I've gotten a bit out of hand I've had to bring on these horrible plastic coat hangers that they sell in the shops so my goal is to declutter enough clothes that all my clothes fit onto these velvet ones and I don't have to use these horrible plastic ones. Yeah, let me just show you all of my clothes on my bed now. So these are all my piles of clothes. Here I have tops and shirts. This is jumpers, cardigans, all that sort of stuff. These are just like more dressy jackets and they're bottoms. So I have a lot of clothes. So the way KonMari says to do your decluttering, you you pick up the item, you look at it, you say, does this spark joy? Will I use it again? Have I used it in the last six months? And if it's a yes, then keep it. But if it's a no, you take it away. But most of these clothes are the ones left over from when I actually did it the first time around. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to try the clothes on, see if they fit me. If they do fit me and they make me feel good and I like them, then I'll keep them. But if they make me feel a bit frumpy or they don't fit right, then I'm going to get rid of them. So, so I will check back in with you once I have done all of that. Right, so I'm all done. Well, pretty much. The bed's clear. That's done. And I've put all the clothes that I'm keeping back into my wardrobe. It looks a lot, but they are jumpers and tops now. Whereas before I had my jumpers in that drawer at the bottom. But I've managed to get rid of quite a few. So now they all hang up quite nicely together. Right, let me just show you a little close-up of it. Right, so this is a close-up of my wardrobe. The tops that were at the top are gone, they're now hanging up. These are my bottoms still. These ones are here. I still have my pyjamas in there. I've added a couple of extra t-shirts that I want to keep, but I will only use them as pyjamas. There are my socks, bras, pants. At the bottom here, I got rid of the shoes and put my, like, spanks and little vests and my two little weights. These are all my shoes. I haven't decluttered my shoes just yet, but I have gotten rid of that white chest of drawers that were in there, so it gives me a bit of extra room. Then up here for my, these are all my tops and jumpers. They're work things, and then I've got black tops going into grey, stripes, then white. Then I have um, blue things. And my blue things, I have a couple of pink and red. I kept a couple of them, not as much as what I did have a, a minute ago, but I kept a couple. So that's all my tops there, from there onwards. And then these are all my cardigans, jumpers, and slightly thicker things. So I have black cardigan, dark grey cardigan, a grey jumper, a really nice um, woolen jumper that I've had for years. Then it goes on to stripes, then light blues and that shouldn't be in there <laughs> that should be in the top that's a green top and a green jumper and then I have all my blue things and blue stripes and then I have these three pink jumpers this is a cardigan and these two are jumpers I couldn't decide between the jumpers so I've decided just to keep both of them and see which one I wear the most and keep that one and then get rid of the other one and then these are my like more plummy coloured ones 
that's a jumper that's a hoodie then i have this really nice red jumper and then i have this hoodie that's black it's a bit Blur, <laughs> but it says Cornish men do a proper job. My I live in Cornwall and my boyfriend's Cornish, and if I got rid of that, he'll probably kill me. <laughs> so, um, this is my knitted longer cardigan, and then I have a grey version. And I've kept three of my dresses this red one, striped one, and this really cute yellow one. I couldn't bring myself to get rid of them. And I need some dresses for occasions, so. And then my Harry Potter scarves. So that's all of my wardrobe. I've gotten rid of a fair few things. I think I'm quite proud of myself. Down here, this is the black bag full of stuff that I have gotten rid of. It doesn't look like a lot, but it's fairly deep. If I show you, there's quite a lot in there. So I'm quite proud. And then these jackets here, I have a nice olive green one a nice navy blue one and this sort of tartan vintagey kind of looking one i'm not sure what i want to do with these yet whether to keep them or to get rid of them i'm not sure but for now i think i will just keep them so and then i'll just show you what was in this drawer i've put my high heel shoes in here and some trainers so i've got a bit more room for the shoes down below i haven't decluttered my shoes just yet um i'll probably leave that for another day and i haven't done my coats yet either i'll leave that for another day but i think i've done quite well really i did have to use some of the plastic coat hangers as you can see other than the nice um suede ones because i didn't anticipate i was going to keep so much stuff but i do love everything that's in here i have tried it all on it all fits me nice and you know if i don't use it within a couple of months i'll just get rid of it anyway so it will slowly get less and less so i think i did quite a good job with my decluttering today um i do have a couple more things that have been washed i do know for sure that i'm going to get rid of one of the tops but the rest of it i'm going to keep which is only like two um tops and maybe a pair of trousers or two i know some people might say it's not good to hang up jumpers but i like to hang up everything so i can visually see what i've got because if it's in drawers and you know tucked away in other cupboards and stuff like that i'll probably just forget about it and i'll never wear it so now it's all hung up visually i can see it and i will hopefully make the make the use out of it so so yeah i think that's the end of the video today it's it's around half two i think it took me about hour and a half to do all that so quite a while um so thank you all so so much for watching i hope you like my different declutter kind of video it was something a bit different and quite nice for me to film um if you want to see me declutter other things i have like my shoes my coats i have a couple of cupboards that are out there that i can declutter some stuff in um bags you know anything really then just let me know in the comments down below i would love to film them for you thank you all so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye